one and only David Gerard. Good evening. Good evening, Magic Castle. How do we feel? Good. Very good, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Gerard. I am from San Francisco. So basically, the hipster version of Harry Potter. <laughs> No, that was not what you were thinking. You were probably thinking, since when did Adam Levine and Edward Snowden have a son? Oh. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thanks, Friday. Thanks, Friday. But it's funny, right? I mean, most of you, well, actually, some of you don't know who Edward Snowden is, which is fine. Um, <laughs> he knows who you are. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, tonight we don't have too much time, so we need to get right into it here at the Parlor of Prestigitation, which sounds like an upscale nail salon. And we begin with five envelopes. Check this out. This is number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. It's only interesting, though, when we find out who these belong to. I'll tell you what I mean. Miss in the front row, your name? Amara. Amara. Nice to meet you. I'm not here to embarrass you. You're just going to help me out for a second. Cool? Okay. You still see? <laughs> I had them. No, no, you, you can sit. But I just had the most honest preamble, and you're still skeptical. Relax. <laughs> As I go across, whenever you want, you just say stop for me. Easy, right? Stop. Right there, perfect. Sir, would you mind standing for me? Easy, right? <laughs> you can pass the drink. Sorry to interrupt the juice cleanse. <laughs> You'd stay right there. You're good. And sir, you get second move whenever you want. Stop. Right there, miss on the edge. No, stay standing. This is like 20 minutes. Good. <laughs> would you mind? Please stand as well. Very good, very good, very good. Miss, whenever you want, just say stop. The wall, perhaps? No, good. <laughs> You're golden. The guy with glasses, I guess. You seem quite chipper. Stay standing. There's a theme. There's a theme. And you know what, sir? You're going to kill this. As I run through the audience, whenever you want, you just say stop, just so it's super fair. Stop. Right there. Perfect. Sir, hello. Hello. Avoiding eye contact. Classic move. <laughs> Classic move. Stand for me, bro. In a second, I'm going to snap my fingers. And when I do, these four folks will rush the stage, and everyone else will go nuts. That moment is now. Give them a big round of applause. They come. You're going, man. Don't worry. Towards the edge, if you wouldn't mind. Towards the wall. Towards the wall. Come towards me. Hello, sir. Good. Miss, I'll take you near me. And go right in the middle of them, if you wouldn't mind. Right in the middle there. Move over, sir. Just an inch. This is great. That was a lot of applause for just coming on stage. Wait till you see what they're about to do. The idea is very simple. Uh, sir, this is a two-handed job. So I'm going to take this. and Can you finish it? No, this isn't a frat party. <laughs> Would you mind holding that for him? Good. Oh my God. A Sigma Tau in the flesh. Those are the only two Greek letters I know. So it's, uh, it's like Sesame Street for, for Greeks. OK. Sir, your name? Brandon. Brandon. Have we met? No. Awesome. Brandon, the idea is simple. I hand you an invisible die. You take the die in your hand. Go for it. Nice. Both hands. <laughs> it's not communion. It's magic. You golden. You take the die, you roll the die on the floor, go for it, man. And in your imagination, yeah, roll it. Nice. One number turns face up on the die. One, two, three, four, or five. What number turns face up? Four. I love that. Sir, in the second row, would you have gone for number four? Nope. Of course not. <laughs> You're like so proud of it, too. You're like, four sucks. <laughs> Hold on, a four of you wouldn't mind for me. <laughs> Sir, one, two, three, and five remain. If you wouldn't mind, roll the die, go for it. <laughs> Very good. I love the style, the stance. One, two, three, or five. Hit me. Two. I love it. If I told you that this week at the castle so far, everyone in this position has said two, how would that make you feel? Uh, normal, I guess. Normal. Great. Hold on to two of you would. That's four and that's two. One, three, and five remain. Roll it if you wouldn't mind for me. You'll go that way. <laughs> great. Great. Of course, Sigma Tau. Used to playing cornhole, but tonight playing this. Uh, one, three, or five? Uh, one. I love that. I will offer you a choice, though I haven't offered anybody else. Would you like to change your mind? No. Of course not, right? And later on tonight, you will wake up screaming. <laughs> and you will wonder what would have happened if you had changed your mind. But I won't be there. Three and five remain, but will influence you in a strange way. Clap if you go for three. <laughs> and clap if you go for five. You can make some friends or go it alone. Five or three. I'm going with three. You're going with three. Ooh. Awesome. 
Some guy in the back's like, I love three. I love three. <laughs> um, this is great. This is five. Uh, hi. Would you mind? Can you just take five? Oh, let me show you something. I'll get rid of the rubber band first. Envelope number five, you have a trustworthy face, is empty. It's the only envelope that is empty. Wait for it. But take this and sit on it, if you wouldn't mind for me. Good? Just so I can't come near it. If I do, you yell no, and I violate my parole. <laughs> cool? And we're back. Four people come up on stage, they say random numbers. Let's see if we have a coincidence tonight. Ladies first, of course. If you wouldn't mind, open up the flap, slide out what you find inside. I'll take the envelope and read that to the team. I will be the only woman on stage. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now it's good, but if all the envelopes say that, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> how I used to do it. So let me take my glasses off for this one, my fellow pledge bro. <laughs> and before we streak across the lawn at dawn, let's open your envelope. No, him first. You must have sucked on I Christmas just, morning. I was just looking at it. Wait. Yeah. You hold on to that. I'll take the envelope. Go for it. I will be the only one wearing glasses. Oh. Wait for it. Tonight, sponsored by LASIK. <laughs> Open up the flap if you would. The yours was tough, right? Because I, we didn't even know that you'd end up on stage, and, except when all the stops happen. So, oh, go crazy. for it. Yeah, read it out loud. I'm having a great time. <laughs> it's very, it's very true, right? Slow. Uncanny. I mean, uh, uncanny. I mean, you know. But then it's strange, right? Because uh, Patrick Dempsey comes up on stage because of you, right? <laughs> and then, I mean, it was almost a miracle, and you chose any envelope, and you went with four. Slide it out if you wouldn't mind for me. And just, uh, yeah, all the way. You have a lot to say. Go for it. Probably wearing gray shoes, black suit, light blue shirt, and perfect stubble. Perfect stubble. Per perfect. Perfect stubble. I mean, this, this, how, did you do that? how did you do that? She's talking to him. 515 stubble is insane. But tonight is not just about us. It's about everyone in this room. So open that all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Show them the word that it says all the way inside because, hold this if you would, that says welcome. Show them that says to the show. Yeah. Amazing. Free to go. A little bonus effect for you, Patrick. Give him a big round of applause. They go back. Amazing. And awesome. Yes. 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 You're free to go. Ready to go. Thanks, man. Thanks. Oh, my God. <laughs> we normally save the keg stand for minute nine. But you, sir, are on fire. Now, listen. Let me come clean. I know what you're thinking. What about the nights where that doesn't work? The two welcome show. And only the dyslexics are like, a trick for us. <laughs> I can pause, you can find your center, and then we can regroup. <laughs> Dear Golden Sister, do it. What you're really thinking is, what's in that envelope that he's sitting on? We will come back to that later. Nothing, obviously, but we'll come back to it soon. But while we do that, I need to confess to you something. The first two times I did the castle, I got back on Southwest, Group B, because I'm no hero. <laughs> and I felt like all I had done was commercial magic, little bit of hairspray. <laughs> I didn't give the audience anything. So tonight, 8.15, if it's OK with you, can I just share with you a very small story? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This is a story about magic and memory, and it means a lot to me. I was at my cousin's wedding. We were in Pittsburgh. <laughs> And the ceremony was over, but the reception was in full swing. And I was sitting there with my grandma. And we were drinking Diet Cokes, as you do with grandma. <laughs> and we were watching the dance floor ebb and flow. Shit, sorry. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> <laughs> So at one moment, my grandma, she turns to me and she says, David, are you still doing your magic? 
the grandma question. <laughs> and I said, yes, I am. Can you show me something, she said. I said, sure. And I reached in my pocket and I pulled out the silver dollar that I always carry around because I'm a magician. <laughs> I said, Grandma, this is a very simple trick, but a beautiful one. And I rolled back the sleeves like this, took the coin, blue, and it dissolved. And then I reached up to the sleeve and it came right back. Yeah, Grandma burst into applause. No, she said, that's amazing, but we know it's just a simple trick. But then she said, how do you do it? Which is a question that you will think often here tonight, but you will not yell it out. <laughs> but for my grandma, I taught her. I taught her the trick, and then she smiled. That kind of smile you have when you learn a secret. But we know that doesn't last too long, right? And then it faded. And then we went back to our Diet Cokes and watching the dance floor ebb and flow. Three minutes later, she turned to me. And asked me if I could do it again. And I took the coin in my hand, right? And I said, Grandma, it won't fool you this time because you know it. And I rolled back the sleeves again. Took the coin, blue, and it vanished away. Reached up to the sleeve, and it returned. Wow. Thank you, two people. <laughs> A small private show full of gasps later this evening. <laughs> but it was weird because then she asked me, she said, well, how did you do that? And I got confused. And that was when I first realized that my grandma's memory was fading away. <laughs> and the therapist tells me that when people laugh at that in an open room, it'll help me heal. <laughs> but in the moment, I was pissed. I mean, I was angry. Right? And I remember reaching down, this is epic, reaching down and squeezing the can, putting dents into it, because here was an audience who could learn the secret to one of my illusions, and then three minutes later, still be amazed. Which is what I have always wanted. <laughs> but not like that. Not like this. And I don't tell you this to bum you out, or because the show is sponsored by Diet Coke. <laughs> I tell you because this ability we have tonight in this magical room to make memory that's a very rare thing. So, with that in mind, a few demonstrations of memory, and then we'll get on out of here. If you have a good memory and you want to be involved tonight, oh, I'll step over you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it cash, bro. Keep it cash. <laughs> Is there anyone tonight with a good memory who wants to be involved? Anyone? Anyone by chance? Good. You're nominating him. That normally means he doesn't want to be up here, but you do. Stand for me. Good, and let's get a woman as well with a really solid memory. Anyone that I could grab for a second? Really? Would you mind? Give her a big round of applause. Come, 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 come. Quick as you can. We got this. Sir, slide over if you wouldn't mind for me. Good. Slide over. I'll lower this back. Oh my God, you were going to drink grandma's drink. Have you no shame? If you would, stand right on the X for me, sir. You're going to kill this. And? Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Nice Hi. to meet you. Marissa, if you wouldn't mind, right over there. You have the worst memory? I really do. Excellent, cool. I'm yeah. David. Hi. Magic Castle. <laughs> Great. If you wouldn't mind, look right towards the back for me. Good. And sir, look right towards the back. And you can take your hands out and do shake them just so we feel a little natural here tonight and shake yours as well. And then, if you wouldn't mind, <laughs> great. And then dance the night away. <laughs> Put your two hands out just like this, almost like you're a zombie, if you wouldn't mind for me. That's great. Do you have any idea what's about to happen? Keep yours out, if you wouldn't mind for me. Any idea? No. Uh, make two fists then, if you would, for me. Good, make two fists as well. And miss, can you point to one of her hands? This one here. Yes. Lower it and relax it. You're golden, but keep that one locked. Mirror her if you would. Lower your right hand. Keep that one locked. You know what? I'll just do this on him since you're dressed so nice tonight. Would you mind lowering that? You're fine, you're fine. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll do it on myself first, then you. It'll be amazing. Ready? I'm going to teach you how to forget. What did I just do? Please, we're past secrets. <laughs> I drew an X. I drew an X, an X on my hand, an X, right, or a plus sign or whatever it is. You can see that in the back, and sir, you can see that, yeah? yeah? Now, here's the idea. First, we have to forget. We have to go back to before this ever happened. Cut out the scene from the film strip of our life. And then it's like it never happened at all. Is that gone? Yeah. It's creepy, but these are the magician's hands, so that's what you came expecting tonight. This is the magic castle, after all. 
But the funny thing is this, if this was all about memory, then I could make you forget something that's very important to this narrative. I'll show you what I mean. This is like in Men in Black with the white light where they forget things, watch. As it flickers, you forget the last 30 seconds. Do you remember when I went to this man and said, do you mind, even though you're dressed so nice, if I put an X on your hand, do you remember that? Yeah. You remember that, but statistically, most of the audience has forgotten. Do you remember when I said that to him? No, no exactly, so if you wouldn't mind, turn your hand over and look. Wait for it. Wait. I wish we had time to chat about it, but we don't. Take the coin. There will be many of these faces this evening. Drop it in. Let's forget something else. Do you remember when I went to her and was like, just so you guys match, can I throw an X? And she demanded the left hand, demanded it. The left hand, that's what you wanted, remember? You don't. That's, oh, adorable. If you would, look. Show them. Strange. Can we take this one step further, team? One step further. Roll. Listen, look, 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 look. Team, wait, quiet. We're going to try this really quick. This is Time Magazine. It's a bunch of memories that always change, but memories that we have collectively together. Do you need glasses to read? Do you need glasses to read? No longer. You're welcome. <laughs> Get that in the gift shop. Do you need glasses to read? No. No, you don't. So you two are good. So you're going to be the holder. I'll hold on to the drink. Okay. Stay there. Good. Open that to any page with a bunch of text on it. Good. Not an ad, but a lot of text. Good. Perfect. Look down and find a nice, long, interesting word. Look down, find a nice, long, interesting one. And man with glasses, can you see that text? Lock in a nice, long, interesting word as well. And lock them in your mind. Do you have one? Yep. Do you have one? A challenging one, though, like real. Yes. Got one? And got one, sir? Mm -hmm. Good. You can close the magazine. You're perfect. Right. And get a prescription. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the dream team for just a second. We'll push this one level further. As I go through, can you see the words change? Yes. Awesome. Not a trick, just how books work. <laughs> and whenever he's like, holy shit. As I go through, just say stop. Right there, we're on a time limit, so I'm going to open this up. Look at the first word on the page and remember it. Do you have it? Good. Don't tell a soul. Cool, lock it in. It. Good. Whenever you want, say stop. stop. Oh, wow, that was, I love it. Do you want to change your mind? No. Go further? Yeah. Okay. Just say stop again. Stop. Oh my, okay, cool. You're crafty and I like it. <laughs> Good. Take a look at the first word on the page and also remember the page number just so we have some more proof. Do you have it? Yeah. Good, awesome. Put your left hand out if you would for me. Good, put your other hand on top. Cool. You guys were thinking of words. When I point to you, just say the first letter of the word you thought of. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Great. First letter. S. S. U. <sighs> U. U. That's tough. With you. It's... Look at me really quick. First letter's an S. Yes. First letter's a Q. First letter's a U. Do you remember telling me? Yes, one guy doesn't. He's confused. The other two do. OK, cool. No, 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 you're golden. Would the two of you mind standing for me? Here's the problem. You can stay there. We'll use it later. Stand for me. This is the problem. I didn't drop the coin, so I didn't make you forget. But this time, you didn't tell me your words, did you? You did. You just forget. Don't react. Uncomfortably and sportsmanship. If I named your words, please sit down. Aww. Let's keep going. Think about the first letter, but don't say it out loud. Do you remember telling me? No. It's a P. And yours is an M. An M, yeah? Mm -hmm. One more. You know the word? Cycling in your mind. Mm -hmm. Cycling in my memory, though. Magnificent. Yeah. And if you don't remember telling me that, she'll never remember telling me it was on page 90. <laughs> yeah. There was a moment when shit got real. <laughs> this isn't that moment. Because here's the thing. If you wouldn't mind, Patrick, take this. Good. <laughs> And before you go back to being Dr. McDreamy, you need to toss that right here in the glass. <laughs> toss it in. Do you remember the sound, the sound of a page ripping? No one ever does. Go to page 90 if you wouldn't mind for me. This is the memory I wanted you to forget, but we'll recrystallize and give it right back to you. Yeah. I know. I know. Oh, oh, weird. Now listen, let's consult the doctor. No. That's page 88. That's page 91. Thus, page 90 is missing. 
I don't know, she said, foreshadowing the ending. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, close us like this. See, there was a choice no one wanted. Do you remember when oh, I made you no, stand? No. No. You don't remember that, right? Ripped from his psyche. I had this man stand. We made a big deal out of it. It was great. Nobody. No. Yeah, I remember. There are some nights. If you, you had your legs crossed. You thought that would protect you, but we all know it doesn't. <laughs> Reach underneath. Grab the envelope, which you've now preheated. Good? In the beginning, it was empty, but they made a choice. And now, reach inside. Is that a page? Unfold it, if you wouldn't mind, for me. I'm happy to give you this moment. This is why I came. Page 90, first word, magnificent, yes? Turn towards the audience, just like this, profile style, if you would. Open the book to page 90. I'll wait. <laughs> and I believe that's a perfect fit and also a souvenir. Give her a big round of applause. Thank you so much for helping. You're free to go, sir. You. Not bad, right? Not bad. Keep it going for them, amazing, yes, yes. No, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours. What is this, a freaking debrief? Come on, bro, we got things to do. It's like, do you remember me, the guy who was just there? It really happened, cool. <laughs> Let's go down on the field to the guy who has an X on his hand now. Did you feel that happen? I swear I didn't. Here's the thing though, man, before you debrief with your bros back there, real quick, real quick, what was the word you thought of? My friend. Preacher. Uh, okay, I would have never made you forget that. Preacher, this is the first time you're telling me, right? Yeah. Preacher, P-R-E-A-C-H-E-R. -E -E have you ever had a memory before it's a memory? It's almost like a prediction. I had one earlier this evening. I wrote it on a piece of paper, folded it, stuck it in the exit sign, right out on the door. Can I get a no way, Magic Castle? No way. One word, one more memory for my friend in the back. That says preacher. Thank you very, very much. Hey, um, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. But team, no. We can't end there. We can't end there. Because I need to give you one more thing. But it's not one more thing to remember. It's one more thing to forget. Can I tell you a story? <laughs> It's a story about magic and memory. And I was at my cousin's wedding. The ceremony was over, but the reception was in full swing. Does this sound familiar? Because there's some things we can't forget, right? I wish I could forget that day before I knew those things. All right? But we all have dents in the old memory, and we all have holes. But this building and magic teaches us that for a moment, Broken things can fix. <laughs> For you, my friend, who could be so vocal in front of strangers, I wish this was perfect, but it's not. But if we breathe in and all work together for just an instant, then maybe we could... We could just forget. Oh my God. No, no, because you helped me remember. I asked her, no, she asked me if I was still doing my magic. And I said, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been David Girard. You guys have been flawless. Thank you very much for coming, packing this place out. It's all right. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening at the castle. Good night.